conventional, sturdy, nothing spectacular, but can be quite good and does not stop and does not quit. He had a stoppage win over Bryant Perella with no time remaining in a fight that he was losing wide on the cards. Got two knockdowns in the final 30 seconds, and the fight was stopped with one second or zero seconds left. Go, 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 go. No. Interesting first round. Figueroa tried a lot of things. Reasonably successful, but Ramos got his shots in as well. We expected a competitive fight, and we seem to be getting it. That's one round. Okay, good job. Here. Keep breath. Hi, okay. Omar, you're doing good. Hey, this guy, when you when you put the jab in front of him, he doesn't do anything. He only does it when you're walking in without working. See, get at the end of the jab. You don't have to hit him. All you have to do is just set it up. When you set up the jab, even just to distract him, he doesn't do anything, okay? And then when you're in there, smother him. Hey, he's dropping his right hand. Every time you make a move, baja la derecha. Ese pinche gancho con el metal de lo lastimaste. So, keep looking for it. Pero hay una finta abajo y luego, pum, arriba el pinche cruzado. That's going to be your key chance. Let's go. Okay? Más agua. Yeah, let's go. Hey, apunta ese left hook. Second down, Martin Duguel. La boca. And there is the Figueroa family. That is uh, Brandon there, who is in the black. His father there on the far left. As young Brandon Figueroa, also a star in the sport, outstanding young fighter. Uh, what I like there, Brian Kenny, Lennox Lewis here ringside. Sean Porter will join us for the main event. What I like there is Joel Diaz gave him specific things that were working, what wasn't working, and what he wanted to do. Very specific. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's got to throw some left hooks in there and throw some body punches. Really specific. Saying, hey, look, you're going to get hit when you're not jabbing on your way in. Good jabs there by... Abel Ramos. Hand free, hand free inside, hand free inside. Constant head movement by Figueroa trying to work his way in. But he can't just walk in to Abel Ramos. You see that strip, that nice stiff jab? Again, when I say conventional, I, that's not an insult. He, you know, just jab straight out in front of his face, hard right hand that can pop you. You've got to respect the man on the way in. Yeah, Ramos, all he has to do is he's throwing one punch, but he should throw combinations. Right hand there by Figueroa on the way in as they trade now in the corner. Ramos eats a hook and then throws his own hook. That landed too. Ramos spins him around. But Figueroa able to get out of danger. What do you make of that style, though, of, of just putting your glove up on the opposite side of your face, Lennox? You know, that's what I said. I, you know, I figured, how would I box a style like that? Basically, just throw combinations, left, right, hooks, and, and right hooks, left hooks and right hooks, Figueroa. body punches and mix it really up. No, he, he just, he can't throw when he does that. Like, if he puts his right hand over there on the side of his, the left side of his face, it's not like he can throw a right hand. And he does it again, and he's got the left hand up on the right side of his face. Keep him up, Abel. keep him up. Ramos now tries to the body. Halfway through this round, number two. Good hook there by Ramos. Hard hook by Figueroa. Main event is next. Andy Ruiz, Chris Ariola. Ramos doing a real smart thing, pushing, pushing his opponent, making, giving himself some some boxing room, some punching room. And Figueroa still coming in with that weird style. Yeah, I mean he clearly has done a few different things in training. Uh, yeah, he's been boxing his whole life. Likes to experiment. He's doing a few different things here, but trying to have a new defensive style. Nice pop right hand there. Quick short right hand, able to land. Ramos lands to the body. Interesting fight. Blocked that shot. Picked it off. So he's picking off shots with his gloves. Moving in. Constant movement. See, that's the punch I like by Ramos. Ramos throws that left hook. He's got to throw that right hook as well. Yeah, threw that right to the body. Again, hard to hit Figueroa in the head when he's moving like that, but you can hit him to the body. Time. Final seconds, the main event is Andy Ruiz, former heavyweight champion, and Chris Ariola with our own Joe Goosen in the corner. Uh-huh. For my short. Joe, how we doing, man? Oh, we're doing great. How's we're Chris doing? doing? How's he Thank feeling? God. No, we just wrap Chris up. 
Show, so that, yeah, we've got a good wrap on the hands. Protect the knuckles and the hands tonight. And uh, we're getting ready to roll. I'm gonna glove, the, glove up Chris right now and uh, we're gonna start to warm up. What do you tell him these <clears throat> last uh, few minutes? Well, again, once we get the gloves on and we start working out, then we'll go over a few things. Right now, it's just been, you know, some friendly banter, right, Chris? Put them on on right now? Pardon? Joe, is it customary to put on the right glove first? Yeah, it is in a way for me. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you do that with all your fighters? I do. How'd you know that? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got their little uh, <laughs> idiosyncrasies. Now, Chris is getting into it right now. We're just down. We got, uh, what, one more fight before we go on? What, this what is we it. Got this is the semifinal, Joe. This is huh? it. Huh? What's that? That's the co -main. That's the co -main. Okay, yeah. so we're on that. Yeah, yeah. You're up yeah. next. Hey, Joe, we, yeah. we wish you the best. You look sharp. We like your fight outfit. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you, guys. Take care, Joe. Joe, Chris Ariola. good luck, fellas. Joe calling a good part of this card with us before he uh, went over with Chris. Again, Chris looks focused. Oh, yeah. You know, not expending any en energy right now. He's really relaxed. Again, we can talk to Joe, and, you know, we know we're not going to get uh, any trade secrets in there. Certainly, Chris has to be completely focused, but you're going to have two determined men in there, and Andy Ruiz and Chris Ariola. that fight is up next. Good thing we told Joe. Hey, Joe, no other fights after this. You're, it's you. <laughs> You're up. Two minutes left here in round number three. Brandon Figueroa, excuse me, Omar Figueroa. Brandon is here watching his brother. But Omar had said, hey, look, my job is to disrupt his plan. That's my plan. I want to disrupt what he does. I try to feel out what a guy is doing. But right there, Abel Ramos able to fire off good combination. He's got uppercut with the right hand, hook with the left. Yeah. And he, he's been effective with that. Yeah, Figaro is not really being effective right now. Ramos is being effective. He's yeah. throwing some great, great punches. Figaro needs to throw some punches. Yeah, Figaro at this point is just staying on top of Ramos at close range, and Ramos is pretty good in there. Ramos is nice and tight, economical with his shots. So, you know, Ramos is appreciating it, saying, hey, look, yeah, I'm here for real. Smiled at him a few times. You know, Figueroa, when he's moving on the way in, he's a little harder to hit. When he's standing right in front of him, Lennox, he's not so hard to hit. No, he's easy to hit right now. He's being very defensive. He's not really putting out on the offense. He needs to throw some good punches, some straight punches. Ramos is having an outstanding round. Look at that hard right hand lands. He's just been very consistent. Had trouble the first two rounds trying to find Figueroa, but he's able to land here in this round. Measured him and hits him with a shot. Creative in his attack. It's a good body shot with a right hook. Pops him with a short right hand just to touch him. And it may look like some of Ramos' shots are getting through, but, you know, Figueroa's defense is, is good. I don't know. Body shots, though, are scoring, Lennox. Yeah, body shots are scoring, but, you know, he's, he's keeping that right hand up against his left side of his face, so... It, He's not getting a hit on the left side of his face with that style. Again, we're not scoring the fight. Larry Hazard is our unofficial scorer, but I wouldn't be surprised if Ramos had taken that round. But we heard from Joel Diaz, who I thought had excellent instructions in the corner for Omar Figueroa. I think we get more right now from Heidi Andrew. Heidi? Thank you very much, Brian. You know, uh, Joel Diaz I, and I had a very candid conversation yesterday, and he said, Omar Figueroa Jr. has taken 10 years off my life. This guy, has, you know, with all of his ups and downs, he said, in fact, coming to California this time to train with him, he brought a scale to the airport. He said, you must weigh in at 155 pounds or less, or I will not train you. Omar weighed in at 153 pounds, exactly. And he so they went and they trained. He's worked really hard for this camp, and he told me, for the first time he doesn't have those injuries but he also was on weight on wednesday that was the biggest difference in this camp he was able to rest this week eat meals drink water and he feels as though that's going to be the difference